All right, we're in lesson six, same area, different perimeter. So we're going to be talking about shapes that have the same area, but their perimeter is different. Before we go any further, please look at the learning goal and rate yourself. You should be used to this by now. At the beginning of the lesson, after you rated yourself, put your rating um, inside of a circle at the beginning of the lesson next to the title, please. All right, so draw two rectangles with the given area. Give the dimensions and the perimeter of each re rectangle. So I know my area is 36 square yards. And I have to do two, so I'm going to draw two pictures. Now we know that area is equal to length times the width. So I need to find a length and a width that multiply to get to 36. Sounds like factors, doesn't it? Right? So factors of 36, well, I could do 1 and 36 yards. 1 times 36 is equal to 36, and that would give me an area of 36 square yards. Another one is 3 and 12. 3 times 12 is equal to 36, so that would work also. Now I also need to give the perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 2L times 2W. So my length is 36, so 2 times 36 plus, that should be a plus sign, 1 times 2. So 1 times 2 is 2 plus 36 times 2. I don't know that off the top of my head. So I'm going to multiply to the side. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6, 72. So 72 plus 2 is equal to 74 yards. All right? And then here, perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W. Okay, so my length is 12. So 2 times 12 plus my width is 2 times 3. 2 times 12 is 24. Plus 2 times 3 is 6. 24 and 6 is equal to 30 yards. So you see the area is the same, but the perimeter, 74 and 30, is different. That's the basis of our lesson today. Same directions, let's try this one. 64 square miles. So remember we have to do two. So factors of 64. Um, I know 8 times 8 is 64, so 8 miles and 8 miles. That would give me an area of 64 square miles. And um, let's do 2, because I know that it's an even number. So 64 divided by 2. How many 2's are in 6? 3. Multiply, subtract, bring down. How many 2's are in 4? 2. Multiply, subtract, no remainder. So that works, 32. So area is equal to 64 square miles. And again, we need to find the perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W. Perimeter is equal to 2 times 8 plus 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16 plus 16. That's equal to 32. So the perimeter is 32 miles. Perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W. So my L is 32. So perimeter is equal to 2 times 32 for the length plus 2 times 2 for the width. 2 times 32 is 64 plus 4. 64 and 4 is 68. So the perimeter is equal to 68 miles. Again, different perimeter, same area. All right. Mrs. Broom is using 64 car carpet tiles in her class to make a reading area. Each tile is a square that measures one foot by one foot. What is the length and width of the rectangular area she made with the smallest possible perimeter? Well, we just did 64. So we had um, 64 in one. Well, I know that would make a huge perimeter because 64 plus 64 plus 1 plus 1, that'd be huge. That probably wouldn't work. Our other design that we just did was 2 times 32. 
That gave us a perimeter of, let's see, 68. This perimeter, 65 plus 65, that'd be 130. So that wouldn't work. Too big. Let's try another one. Um, another factor, let's see. It won't divide by 4 evenly. It won't divide by 6 evenly. It'll divide by 8 evenly, so 8 by 8. Well, 8 times 8 is 64. The perimeter here would be 8 times 4, 8, 8, 8, 8, would be 32. So this would be the smallest perimeter that she could use. All right, now it is your turn. Here's your homework for tonight. Draw two rectangles with this given area. Give the dimensions, so draw the picture and find the perimeter of each rectangle. You have to do it for these three. And then here's your word problem. Mrs. Harris is trying to cover Vance's playroom with floor mats. She has 14 one foot by one foot tiles. Those are the mats that she's going to use. What's an arrangement of tiles or mats that she, would be the largest perimeter for Vance to play in? Draw a picture to represent your thinking. After you do your problems for tonight, go ahead and give yourself a rating on the learning goal. And then put that inside of a triangle for me. Thank you for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.